care and the members of the family of Professor Udaipai. It's a, it's, a, it's a moment of great proud for me to welcome you to this August. Members, trustees, that they decided to host, they decided that IHMR would host this resource center. And I'm also very thankful that the members of the family of Professor Udaipai agreed that this resource center could be set up at IHMR. We are really proud to have this center. I have this privilege of being sure invited Professor Udaipai was in 1986 and soon after he started working with us on the honorary basis. He donated his time since then to this institute. And we all in the institute really feel fathered by him in the discipline of human resource development and organized education. We have developed strength in that area. And I must go on to say that it is now one of the major trust areas of the institute, human resource development. I would not like to encroach upon the time. Uh, <coughs> Whenever I meet a person from the Chinese field in this country, every person tells me that they have been very much influenced by his working. I wish he was here today. He is not well. He broke his leg and the IHMR. An excellent professor of health policy and administration at the University of North Carolina. He is the chairman of the Government Board of the Institute of Government Research and Statistics, Jaipur. He is also currently the Vice President and Trustee of IIHMR. He is on the Manual Board of several institutions around the country, namely Academy of HRD, ISAS, and the Editor of the Applied General Sciences. Professor Leo Parik has been the Chairman of the Manual Board of the Institute of Government Studies at Jaipur, South Asian Association of Psychologists, National HR Network, in a study of applied behavioral sciences, etc. <coughs> Dr. Pari was a lengthy professor. On his return, he decided to devote his entire time to the development progression of HRD field in this country. Professor Parik was the first editor of the Kalpa and a magazine published by IM Ahmedabad. He has been on the editorial boards of Administrative Science Quarterly, Organization and Group Studies, Psychology. Professor Parikh has authored about 30 books and 350 papers. Several of, of his books are being used as textbooks and as a reference books throughout this country and outside the country. With Ralph Linton, Professor Parikh has written several books which are currently used in many universities in the USA. The Jaipur HRD Research Foundation has recently changed its name to honor Dr. Uday Parik and is now being called as Uday Parik HRD Research Foundation. This is a very, <laughs> very brief and drab introduction of Uday Parik. He is much more to many of us and uh, I thought I'll just give a formal introduction, but uh, uh, I think his son and his daughter is going to speak about him as a person and his contribution in HRD field. Thank you very much. Now I would invite another. Chairman, sir, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. <coughs> it's a great honor for me to be here and speaking about my father. I would like to thank you for the opportunity. <coughs> there are many qualities that come to my mind and I would like to share some of those qualities which are not really known to everybody and known to only close people. <coughs> I think the first and the foremost thing that comes to mind is humility. He is probably the most humble man I have ever met or seen. <coughs> there have been instances when he would uh, 
go to any organization for consulting, people would be waiting to receive him at the airport. And they would be standing with a play card, waiting for Dr. Uday Parikh, waiting for some high-profile person coming. And he would walk past them in kurta pajama and chappals. And they would walk, won't even give him a second look. And say, okay, that's me. Uday, oh, and they are totally taken aback. But when he goes and meets them and talks in discussions, the whole thing changes. He has never talked to his achievements to us in the family. I think I was discussing with my sisters today and we said, you know, that is something which we dislike, that he has never shared with us, you know, how much he has achieved. We come to know more about him from other people than, uh, than he himself. In spite of being, a, you know, humble and human, he's always been extremely firm on values and principles. When he was a director of humanities and uh, basic sciences in Udaipur, uh, there was an instance when there was a collective decision by 150 teachers that they would not admit a particular student to the college. There were student protests, even had a gun pointed to him in a closed room, a loaded gun, and he said, I will not admit the student to the college. There were even threats that uh, they would kidnap me. I was five at that time. And a guard would escort me to school and take me, bring me back. And, uh, but he stuck to his principles. Well, it's a different story that he knew if they kidnapped me, they would return to the next day because I was very naughty. <laughs> he, uh, I share a very special relationship with him in terms of, you know, when we discuss books, we share books with each other, we read about new topics and we would discuss and there's a childlike there's a child inside him that comes out and there's a twinkle in his eye which is worth a million dollars. He would discuss with me at my own level. I'm not even anywhere close to this area. I'm in a different field. And he would make me feel as if I know more than him. And uh, it's the HRD concept has been so imbibed into our family. And the point really struck home when my seven-year-old son Karan was typing on the computer last morning and he said, Papa, come here, I want to show you something. You know, I've written my name on the computer and I've written my email address. I said, what? Well, you know, seven-year-old. So he said, Karan Parik, my email address is karan at hrd.com. <laughs> <laughs> That's when I realized that, <laughs> you know. Okay. Now, I, another thing that I've seen is a passion for uh, different things in life. He's always taught me to be versatile, not only to be in your own field. You would go to exhibitions for home decor, on arts, there would be instances where he would travel for, you know, miles and miles uh, into, on, in rain and get uh, some piece of art. I think uh, there was an instance where he bought something in Bhopal and uh, Professor Gupta <laughs> carried a murti of Ganeshji on his shoulder. <laughs> so I think there's a passion besides HRD. I think that's not his only life. There are other areas. Uh, extremely high, highly energetic. He'll be 78 in about 18 days. and. Uh, I think he can give any 28-year-old a run for his money in terms of the mind and uh, he was very energetic. He would get up at 3, write books and still have time to share with us uh, over tea and watch movies with us. We would we never seen. If I write even 10 lines, my whole, whole house will know. But when he writes a book, nobody knows. <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, uh, being humble, I've asked him, you know, we have, I tried to press him yesterday, you know, what is the strength? And he said, no, I don't have any strength. And finally, he came up that he says, <clears throat> I have my biggest strength, I think, is I continue to be a student. And he's always learning. And he, he says, that is my biggest strength. I think to uh, sum up, uh, you know, as a he's our role model. He's very inspiring as a father. And I think uh, he always believed in giving us two things, values and memories, the two big ingredients for a happy life. Thank you. Thank you, Anagar. I would invite Suruti Muroji, Professor Pani's daughter, to say a few words. I am really overwhelmed by the love, affection, and respect which is being given to my father. I am really very happy for that. Thank you. I owe great respect to my father. First of all, uh, Professor Pike, my father has contributed a lot in the field of HRD and management. And we all know he is popularly known as management guru. And um, 
management guru and father of HRD. I would not talk anything about his contributions and achievements because uh, Mr. Agrawal has already talked about it and the world knows about it, how much he has achieved. But certainly I would like to emphasize on the tire uh, tireless uh, effort he has made and of course on uh, creating a second line of different industry. Uh, besides in the field of HRD, he has contributed and made a lot of achievements which we will not discuss, uh, which I am not going to talk about. But definitely, uh, I did have, uh, I am really lucky to have an opportunity to work with him in Jaipur and of course outside Jaipur also. And in the, uh, because I have been very close to him, I am in Jaipur and uh, I got a chance to work with him for, uh, I have been, uh, I really got a chance to work with him for quite some time. For the last seven years I have been associated with HRD and I think I have been lucky enough because all three of us, I am the luckiest one who could really work with him and got a chance to work with him. Now, uh, nobody would know how, uh, because this, uh, all these things people know about him, but there are a number of aspects which we are not aware of. Uh, in the family, in spite of being so busy, he would never let his family know that he is so busy. He would give all his time to the family. He spent so much valuable time in the family and he would socialize a lot and make my mother happy because my mother really loves socializing. He would never uh, let her know that he doesn't like to socialize. Of course, he also enjoys. He still enjoys it. But in spite of being so busy, I really appreciate A few qualities which I really admire about my father are his dedication that he has for his work. Dedication and commitment that he has for his work. And I think I am learning from him how we can commit we can make commitments to our work. One, uh, another thing which is important is that he never piles up his uh, job. Uh, like the moment he gets some uh, thesis for evaluation, he would uh, return it back the very next day. And he would start saying that he uh, check uh, so this is his profile. This is what Professor Parikh is. So he never let people feel that he is so busy. And in the family also, he, uh, he would really take out his valuable time, spend the quality of time which was necessary for his family, for his children, for his wife. And uh, I can uh, quote a few instances when, uh, where you can see that how much he is dedicated to his work. I remember once, it was about two years back, he had broken his shoulder bone and he had to go for Viva and Dr. Manju Mehta, she knows very well. So it was one of her students Viva and he had to go for that Viva and, uh, and uh, it was at around 12 o'clock and at 11 he slipped and he broke his shoulder bone and uh, then he immediately called me up at my place and he said, Surabhi, I have uh, fallen down can you please come and I immediately uh, uh, ran to uh, my father's place and he said take me to the hospital. One student, I have to conduct viva of one student. I said let it just uh, give her a call that I cannot do, I'll take this viva because I am unwell, I have broken my arm. He said no I can't do this because uh, complete years will be wasted. Then I took him to the hospital and after that he, at 12.30 we reached the viva place and you can, uh, you can imagine with so much pain and all that, he still uh, went for this viva. So this is dedication and commitment which I think we all should learn from him. Uh, and uh, uh, there are a number of qualities which really I admire. He would never uh, pile up things and uh, I would uh, with a great uh, sense of gratitude and honor, I would like to dedicate my book enhancing personal effectiveness training instruments for students, teachers and parents.